Welcome back to Ask Mr. Franchise. Our guest today, none other than the co-founder of Glamagals, Josie Canone. Josie, welcome. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Glamagals, it's uh, the tween party spa. I've been there, I've experienced it. It is fantastic. I've sent my daughter there, I've had my wife there, but most people out there wouldn't know what a tween party spa is. How would you describe it to somebody that's never been there before? Well, for someone who's never been there, I'd describe it as almost a girl's hangout place. Girls come there to do different services. They come for birthdays to celebrate special events or occasions, and they come sometimes just with their mom for a girl's day out to do manicure, pedicures. So just a cool girl's hangout place. That's so cool. <laughs> Uh, being the father of two daughters, I completely appreciate it and uh, I'm always looking for things to empower my daughters. Exactly. Um, and, and there's something really cool that you do at Glamagals that does empower young women that come through there. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes, well pretty much we offer a variety of spa services and activities for the girls to engage in. And what we like to promote to the girls that yes they're coming in for this day with their moms or to come in and do their hair and makeup, but we like to empower girls that reminding them that beauty comes from within and that also you know it's, it's more about confidence and what they bring forth and just to really enjoy the time with their friends and pretty much make it a comfortable envir environment for them. That's really cool. How, how did you come up with something like this? Well, it started a while ago. Um, me and my sister Laura, um, back in 2000 and, oh wow, back in 2006, we started <laughs> off, um, it was my sister's bridal shower and we um, thought of a theme for her bridal shower and the theme was spa. So every um, booth at the spa, at the shower had a name and one of the names was Glamagals and that was the girls activity center at the shower and we thought why not make this shower exciting for the children as well because all these ladies are coming out so that was my duty as a, a almost teacher to be Laura said why don't you think of some activities for the girls to do during the shower so me and her came up with uh, little crafts to make lip glosses all girly girl themed stuff and from there, it was a success. We really enjoyed it. And then my little cousin actually wanted us to host her birthday party when she turned seven. So we actually did that. And from there, all the parents were like, do you do this professionally? Is it something, you know, can we hire you? And then uh, we just totally took all of our concepts and ideas and kept growing with that. And that's how it became what it is. That's so cool. Yeah. Now, people are passionate about Glamagals. Very passionate. You know, I, I met a, a young girl the other day who's been to your Ajax location. Um, she's 11 years old. She's been there three times now for different parties. And she remembered the name of the person that was taking care of her. She's a huge fan of her. She gave her a big hug on the way out. She said she loved her. I mean, it is such an emotional attachment. How do you do that? How do you make that culture happen? Well, the thing is, it's it's what we're doing with the kids throughout the party. They're not just coming in for services, they're coming in and there's a relationship that's built with our staff. Our staff is bringing these services to these girls, but also giving them that attention that tweens need. And um, I think it's just doing one party. We're, let's say we have a party with six girls. All those kids at that party really enjoy it because they're getting the best girl time ever. So all of them end up wanting to come back and we just grow a relationship with them. We, a lot of us help out in the community as well. So they know our faces and uh, they really like coming back for that. That's really cool. What's your day-to-day -day responsibilities as one of the co-founders of Glamagals? Because it's, it's you and your sister and you're kind of a dynamic duo. Yes, exactly. Um, so day-to-day, -day, it, it changes. Every day is um, pretty much answering calls, uh, speaking with parents, doing follow-ups of past events or parties we did, just to see how they enjoyed the experience and learn some new things that could even help us grow bigger. And also um, just pretty much preparing, doing inventory orders, uh, making sure all of our items are stocked and ready for the upcoming week that comes. And um, marketing, making sure that you know we're up to date with what we're offering by ways of specials and advertisements and just, uh, it changes. So it's very, it's every day is something different, but it's keeping busy pretty much. I put my passion into it. So every day is something new for me. Now you're a professional educator by by training. Yeah, I'm a certified actually um, primary junior teacher and so that's something I did um, throughout becoming a glam gal with Laura. Um, it was me going into teachers college and I was doing this uh, part time and then at the same time I was able to finish my completion and, and pretty much bring forth what I, I know as a teacher into some of our activities and teaching the girls stuff as well. Now you're about to take that to the next level yes. by making this a franchise system. You've got two locations, one in Vaughan and one in Ajax. I would imagine that you'll be in charge of doing a lot of the training for franchisees that are coming into the system. Exactly. Can you tell me about what your expectations are in, in, in a student that you would actually train? 
Um, expectations, I, I would want them to be as passionate about this business as much as me and Laura are. So coming in there, wanting to work with the children and loving, uh, you know, all the aspects that we offer with by ways of uh, services and stuff that we provide. But I think more just really being involved and bringing forth that energetic, happy, um, enthusiastic character because that's something that kids love in our staff and, and in ourselves. So that's something we want the people that are coming in for training to show. So I think that would be something uh, we would be looking for, definitely, having that passion for children and also what we're doing. Very cool. Now, obviously, a guy can't be a Glamour Gals franchisee. Uh, this, <laughs> this is a little one-sided, and, and that's okay, because yeah. it's, it's a tween party spot for young girls. Exactly. And it empowers young girls. Um, wh when you're looking at the candidates, are you, would you say that somebody that is a new mom would be a good candidate, is someone that uh, is re-entering the workforce a great candidate? When you think about who's trainable and where they are in their lives, is there any place that you think would be the ideal or is it really personality that wins the day? I think personality because you can be at any part in your life. Just for example, me and Laura, like I was um, a graduate student and Laura just had her first child and we were both able to bring that forth and, and continue our business. So I think it just demands it's a matter of personality and what you have uh, that can add into the company itself. So any stage in life is, I think, fine. Now, you're very lucky and blessed in that you were born with your business partner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I imagine that also relates to some challenges and frictions every once in a while. How do you two divvy up responsibilities? Well, you know what? We actually managed to uh, balance each other out. So if I'm doing parties on the weekends and I'm there doing stuff, Laura's um, setting up some stuff online on our website. Um, we pretty much take turns so we don't both, you know, burn out. Like we want to both be a part of it and not take on too much so that we're able to live a, a normal life and have a social life and continue that as well. So we help each other out with certain things and it works out good, you know. We, uh, we're very open with each other so if we, if we need to confront each other we say okay let's do this next and we're, we're really open and I think that's what helps us get through um, every part of the day and every part of the week and busy weekends as well. Excellent. Now you've got two locations, one in Vaughan and one in Ajax. Yeah. And I remember when we first met, I was talking about whether or not the model's replicable, and Ajax really proved that it is. Oh, yes. How hands-on are you in Ajax uh, when it comes to running it? I mean, as a franchisee, are they going to have to be hands-on in the operations of their business? What are your expectations from them on a week in the life? Well, hands-on, you need to be there. You want to show the staff that you are a part of this business and that you're, you want to make sure everything runs smoothly and, and goes correctly. So you are there for the beginning parts and just to make sure the busy times that you're monitoring everything. And then, of course, you, you will have a manager or supervisors like we do that will eventually take on and adapt to the situations and the way we tra like do our services and stuff. So they'll be able to do that. Um, I think it's just pretty much staffing as well and, and the way you um, hire certain staff to work well with, with um, each other will, will help you through it. Okay. Now, when you're looking at, um, at locations, you've got one that's in an industrial park and one that's on a main road. And I know that we're talking about relocating the one on the industrial park to be more on the main road. Is that because you're seeing a greater success being on the main road? Oh, yes, a uh, greater success because on the main road, we have a lot of people just walking in who drive by, maybe are just coming through Ajax area, not even living in that area and driving by and, and wanting to know what it's all about and then eventually booking a party or even just coming in to want to do services. Um, our other location in Vaughan is a little more hidden, so it's more um, word of mouth and pretty much what we've um, all web based where people book. So we do see it as, as quite a, a better uh, concept being on the main road and, and coming out more. Now I met your manager, Teresa in Ajax, yes. really great lady. Very good lady. Um, super manager. And she told me something that I, 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 I was a little dumbfounded by. She said that some months coming up, you're actually sold out in advance. Oh yes. We, that you're sold out in advance? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm usually, on the, I'm just saying it because a lot of parents call and they're like, are you sure you're booked? We book our weekends because it's such a unique and new concept. We only have the two locations. Mm -hmm. So we have parents calling all the way from the beaches downtown or some people coming all the way from Hamilton sometimes for wow. just a visit with a few friends. So we book, I tell parents six to eight weeks in advance. And of course, with more locations, it, it would be a little bit, you know, we would be able to offer more dates. But however, just because of the two locations right now, we book up our weekends for birthday parties far in advance, even during the week. 
So when parents call, that's what I was saying, oh yes, when parents call, sometimes they're in disbelief when I say I don't have anything this weekend. They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, we book in advance. It's like an adult spa. Some adult spas book a few weeks in advance. So we, we adapt to that but as well. you're booking well. months in advance. Well, yes. The it demand is, um, seems huge. Well, the, the demand is huge. And that is why uh, me and Laura think it, it would even be a better idea to have more locations out there. That way we can offer these clients who are wanting these dates more availability from different locations like especially in Mississauga areas pretty much every different area except like Vaughn area and Ajax area they're coming from all over wow. so if there was other locations it would definitely help that out how does that feel starting a project like this out of a out of a out of a shower to what it is today how does it feel looking back at this you know looking back it, it's shocking because um, me and Laura would have ne like we always had a feeling this was going to be something special because we would do one or two parties and parents would just tell us how much they loved it and said it was a great concept and new thing for the kids and the kid had their best party in their life ever so we we had a feeling it would be something but we just it, it's an overwhelming and a very happy feeling knowing that it's gotten this big for us and it, this big to me is not like two locations this big is me reaching out to all these children and having them come in here and having the best party ever so that's what makes it special for us at the end of the day because we have a lot of kids like you said who want to come back and hug us and know our names and see us on the street and say i went to glamour gals i loved it so it's good to know that and hear that. Well, I have daughters. I walked in and in a heartbeat, I said, I love it. Yes. I did. <laughs> I, just, I was just, I, I fell in love with it right away. Um, and then I saw the sisterly oath. Yes. And that just put me over the top yes. because that is an unbelievable message of self-empowerment for young women. That's exactly. And being the father of daughters, it's so hard to find uh, great role models and empowering statements that are strictly geared towards young women. And you've created an entire center around it. That's it. it, and that's exactly it. We want to, at the end of the parties is when we read this oath, and this oath um, pretty much sums up what it is to be a girl, and the girls had a great experience, and my friends beside me are the ones who I'll remember here today, and how beauty comes from within, so all of that. But a lot of parents cry during that part, and even some friends, you know, parents when booking a party are worried because they're inviting some girls that don't get along and then during the party the mom will come up to me and be like i'm so shocked they're all talking they're all enjoying it you know the two that usually fight aren't fighting and, and that's what it's all about right they're, they totally come in and they're in the spa for a good time and all that other stuff is outside that's awesome yep now training is two weeks uh, yes. that we've allocated for on investing in a glamour gals it's two weeks of full-time training and then ongoing support thereafter Yes. Uh, once they actually open, there's a certain amount of on-site support. Uh, there's a royalty, there's an ad fund. But really at this point, you and I imagine Teresa and some of your current staff will be the people produ providing the training. Yes, exactly. We're, we'll be there for anything they need. Um, we're all really involved and all been a part of Glamagels from the beginning. So we'll definitely be there to help them out and make it a very, very good experience. There's one question you'd recommend a franchisee ask themselves before they invest. What would you say it would be? The one question I think would be um, is wanting, it has to come from the heart. And I, I think you need to know from, from your heart if it's something you're ready to go ahead with and be passionate about. This isn't something you can just throw on to someone else. Yes, you'll have people to help you and be a part of it. But in order for it to succeed, you, you need to have the passion and that heartfelt feeling that you want to Whatever you put into it is what you're going to get out of it, basically. So if you're ready to put in your heart, you're going to get all heart out of it from all the kids around you. That's awesome. Yeah. Josie, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. That was excellent. Thank you Josie so much. Canone, or sorry, Canone <laughs> uh, from Glamagals, one of the co founders of Glamagals Franchising. For more details, the website is glamagalparty.com. Excellent. Thanks again. Have a good one. Thanks.